Today we are going to round factors to a basic fact to help us multiply. Let's just say we have 456 times 42. And I don't need to know the exact product, I just need an estimate. How could I round the factors to estimate the product? Well, you could round to the nearest 10. So if I did that, I would get 460 times 40. By looking at that, I have 460 times 40, but it's still a little difficult to try to do in my head. Could I round 456 to a different place value to make the product easier to find? Sure, you could round to the hundreds place. So therefore, 456 would become 500 times 40. By doing this, it makes multiplying quick and easy because we are now using our basic facts to multiply. We're looking at the 5 and the 4. So by doing this, I have 5 hundreds times 4 tens, and that would equal 20 thousands, or 20,000. Here's another example to show how we ran the factors to estimate the product. So I have 1,320 times 88. So if I wanted to estimate and I don't need to find out the exact answer, I want to find the answer quickly and I want to have a rough estimate. So what I could do is I could round 1,320 or 1,320 to 1,300. I'm looking at the hundreds place and I'm just trying to round that number. Now I'm looking at 88. I can round that to the tens place and I would have 90. This makes it much easier to try to multiply in my head. I can do 13 times 9 and by doing that I get 117. But I'm still not finished yet because I still have a thousand. So I have to multiply 117 times a thousand and I would get 117,000. What I did here was I looked at the 1300 and what I'm really saying is it's 13 times 100. And I'm looking at the 90, which is really just 9 times 10. So that is another way that I could try to look at my factors and estimate quickly in order to help me to find out what the answer is.